here I'm going to show you how to retrieve the elements from a character array or a string in a C program. Uh, there are some different methods to retrieve the data back from a string or a character array. Here I'm going to show you each method. So the first method is same as uh, same as retrieving a data from a normal integer array or a float array. You have to use a loop statement and retrieve each element by using the loop statement. So for using a loop, you have to declare some variables. So here I declare a variable, I initialize the variable with the value 0. And here I use a while loop. Now here I'm going to display the first character array or a string. The string contains a name called John. That name contains four characters. So we can put our condition like this, i less than 4. 0 to 3 contain 4 elements. That's why I put the condition i less than 4. Okay, so here we access each element as a character. Actually it's a word, John is a word, but here we retrieve each element as a character. So we have to use the control format string percentage %c. So use the printf statement, printf. Here the format string is percentage %c because it's a character. And now you have to specify each element. So here each element is name of i. Okay. Now you have to increment the value of i by 1. Now we can check the program. Compile the program. Compilation is success. Now run the program. We got the output. John. And this is the first method in which you can retrieve each element of a character using a for loop, of a character array using a loop, looping statement. And now here I'm going to change the condition. So we learn that every every character when whenever an array is sent, whenever a string is sent, the compiler will automatically put an end character called a slash zero. So we can find out the end of the string using slash zero. So I change the condition like this while uh, the name of the array is name. Name of i not equal to it is not equal to last character is slash zero. That means it indicates the end of the array. So this loop execute until the last character become a slash zero. That means end of the array. Okay. And now we can check the program. I compile the program. Compilation is success. Now run the program again we got the correct output. Okay. So another thing here we print out we print the entire array using a loop. Here I use a while loop. But there is no need to use any loop to print out an array. But in the case of an integer array or a float array of course you have to use some loop statement to read the data and uh, retrieve the data back from the array. That is necessary to use a loop statement. In, ca in the case of a normal integer or or a float array. But in the case of character array, you can retrieve the data or you can retrieve the entire elements from the data as a string using a single printf statement. So the printf statement has a special feature which is capable of accessing an entire array as a word or a sentence. So there is no need to use any loop statement. This is also valid. You can access each element from the array as a character, each character. But here I am going to comment all these statements. So start a comment here. Yeah, I make all these one comments. All these statements are comments. Okay. So now here I am going to print the entire array in one statement. So here we are going to print the array as a string, not each single character. Here we are going to print the array as a single sentence or word. So instead of using %c, you have to use a special format string called percentage %s. That means here we print out the array as a complete string and put the comma operator and specify the variable name. Here the variable name is name and I print out the array. Compile the program. There is no errors. Compilation is success. Now run the program. Here we got the output. 
So that is a very useful feature of printf statement. The printf statement is a is capable of printing an entire array as a string, entire character array as a string. This is only in the case of a character array or a string. It is not possible in the case of a normal integer array or float array. If you print a normal integer array like this, it will print only the first element because when you specify an array name, it indicates the base address, that means the address of the first element. Okay, so in the same way, I can print out the second I'm going to print the second array. Second is address, second is place. Also put a slash on. Now compile the program and run the program. Now we print out the two arrays, two string arrays. This is how we retrieve data from a from a string array or a character array. Please go to the next video to learn more about strings in C programming.